Hi, this is Vinny Vincent, and this is BackstageAccess.com, where the real show begins. Stay here, don't move. <laughs> Gus Kessinger here, Backstage Access at the Chiller Expo 2018 with a man that needs no introduction, oh. but I'm going to introduce him anyways because the people out there have may not seen you in quite a long time. Oh my gosh. Vinny oh. Vincent. Hi. Uh, coming out and saying hello to the fans here at Chiller and welcome. Wow, thank you so much. It's, wow. it's been a long, long time. It has, it has, but you know, for some reason it doesn't feel that long. Really? <laughs> now that I'm out, it doesn't <laughs> feel long at all. You've been out for a couple months now. Yeah, um, right. Tell us about the, the love and support that you've been getting for the last couple of months. It's been overwhelming. For me, it has. <laughs> anyway, this is not something I, I've ever known. So I'm, uh, I'm so honored, and I thank everybody. And uh, this has been the greatest time of my life, and it's great to be alive. It's great to be with everyone. And uh, it's very deeply moving. And I thank you all. I have a Facebook page where mm -hmm. over about 10,000 over just a few months. And uh, like you said, it's, it's, it's overwhelming, the love and support. So thank you, everybody. Have you been I love you. <laughs> have you been surprised <laughs> that um, what the uh, overwhelming love and support? Did you, did you expect that? Did you know not what to expect? I mean. Didn't expect it at all. No? No, not at all. <clears throat> I remember when the uh, promoters said, to me in uh, Atlanta, his name is Derek Christopher, mm -hmm. and he worked about eight months to uh, get me to come and uh, do this expo, and I said to my, my friend and my lawyer at that time, I said, why would he want me? There's no one that's going to show up, and see, no one's going to care, so um, he said, I don't believe that. I think you're going <laughs> to think you'll be surprised, and I was, so it was truly a, a, a miracle coming back. It's been a miracle still being here above ground, and uh, a lot has happened, but uh, the Vinny is back, mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> got my double V All warmed right. up in the garage. Mm -hmm. The engine's purring, and uh, soon I'm going to take it for a ride. I think that's what, every right with <laughs> <laughs> that's what everybody out there wants to know. The next step, obviously, you're, you're getting acquainted with the fans again and saying hello and, and doing all that. But when are we going to see Vinny doing music live or writing material? When's the next step, basically? Uh, honestly, I've been talking to promoters now, and uh, they want to get Vinny on the shred, shred circuit again. <laughs> so we're looking at uh, hopefully January, February, March. And it's taking a while, but mm -hmm. we're getting everything in order and uh, ready to rock. And we'll be playing some good stuff again. So it, I'm looking forward to it. And living in Nashville, um, you're obviously living in Nashville. And you're an amazing song. You've always been considered one of the greatest songwriters of rock. Wow, listen um, to you. Thank well, you. look at listen to Kiss albums. I mean, everybody knows Creatures of the Night's one of thank the best you. albums, you know, that they've ever put out. Well, you thank know, you. And thank they've you got a lot much. of great records. But <coughs> being in Nashville, you're in the country realm. You know, have you ever been approached by a country artist to possibly write, or is that something that you may want to visit? I, I would love to. I grew up with country music, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, my young years were uh, were filled with that. My, yeah. you know, Connecticut, uh, believe it or not, was a real hotbed for for country music, mm -hmm. and my parents were musicians they played uh my mom sang we had bands over the house all the time and and uh, so those were my young years in the 50s and uh i write those kinds of songs um and i'd love to work with uh, a lot of artists country artists and no one's asked me but i'm really not out there i think and doing these interviews and stuff and people know that you're gonna be out there is gonna <laughs> help and yeah yeah i'd yeah. love to be out there with them and uh, a, a great story, to, uh, I'll make it really quick, that happened to me. Before I disappeared, um, Chet Atkins was always my hero okay. when, I, when I was growing up. And mm -hmm. I called Chet. I says, I, this is Vinny Vincent. I just love you. You know, I was mm -hmm. my fan foaming at the right. mouth for him. And I said, uh, I, and, she, and I had his assistant on the phone. And she said, can you hold on, please? I said, okay. And uh, so Chet picks up the phone and he says, Vinny. I said, yes. He says, this is Chet Atkins. And I said, no way. <laughs> so he says, are you doing anything? And I, before I could say no, I was like there in three seconds. Mm -hmm. He told me where he lived. Come on up. We're jamming. And uh, 
it, we became friends shortly uh, uh, for a little bit, and uh, it was great. And that was my that was my moment in the sun. And speaking about Nashville, you know, uh, just a very short time ago, you actually made an appearance uh, at Gene Simmons' vault. I want you to tell the fan, <laughs> the fans how that went. The and vault. Yeah, and you know, I, meeting up with Gene for the first time since you know the '90s. Or, I got. I ended up getting locked inside that vault. It was so did big. you? <laughs> he, he wouldn't let me out. <laughs> I said to him, um, I said, uh, he says, you know those keys you've been talking about? He says, what keys? Keys to my house? I said, no, the keys of the kingdom. Are they inside here? <laughs> <laughs> so he looked at me and he started laughing. Uh, had a great time seeing my old friend again. Okay. And, uh, and it's, you know, like yesterday. Yeah. You know, like, like well, not yesterday, a couple of yesterdays yeah. ago. But uh, it just like, you know, I've seen, I saw him yesterday. Any, like, seriously. Any talk about possibly, you know, getting reacquainted with the guy and, you know, his partner in crime, Paul Stanley? And <laughs> <laughs> any talk you about You put that, that? well. <laughs> uh, we never talk about that no? stuff. You know, it'll just happen. Okay. You know, it'll just happen. I'll, I'll get okay. a phone call. Vinny, what are you doing? Because when Gino called me, Actually, he didn't call me. This is a great story, and mm. I, think you, I think you guys will like this, but um, I call him Gino. Right. He knows that. Right. He loves that, by the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I don't, there, there's an email address I have that I don't check ever. <laughs> so uh, it was Christmas night, um, and I never check it. I hadn't checked it in five years. I'm surprised it was still there. So I see this. I said, well, I better check this to see if it's still working. <clears throat> I, I logged in, and uh, I see three messages from Gene Simmons. I said, must be somebody fooling around with me, you know. <laughs> so I, and, but they dated back like to seven or eight months earlier. Mm -hmm. And I said, uh, and it was, it was Gene, and he said, uh, putting out a vault, uh, could you come? I'd like to meet you, you know, I'd like you to come and stay with, sit with me at uh, mm -hmm. one of the appearances. We're doing a song that we wrote together, and, uh, and it's a great song. We wrote this called, we wrote this song, it was called I Wanna Live, mm -hmm. and uh, it was from the Revenge Album Sessions, which I thought was one of the better songs we've ever written. And uh, I loved it, I loved it a lot. So it's on the vault. And uh, we anyway, so we connected, and it was it was great. We finally finally got to see each other. That's a, great. A few, I, few weeks ago, I think the fans out there hope to you know everybody put their differences aside, move on, and, and have to do could, that. Yeah, you have to do that. And um, you know, you, maybe you can be a part of maybe doing the f f you know. There's been talk about a, a final tour and having some all the members come out. So maybe something like that can see. Be, I never I never you know, use that word final to me there's well, never there's no such thing as final possibly the you know an end of the road something something no nah, i don't believe <laughs> i don't think the road ends but okay uh if they ask me i'll be there i'll All be right. there they're, okay. they're my they're still my my buds my friends and still a lot of love left i want to talk about one of your a lot of magic left there's always magic. Okay, so right, we got to wrap up because uh, the guests here are really to see Vinny. So we're going to wrap up by saying uh, Vinny's going to be doing a bunch of appearances. And he actually, I think you're going to be doing a, uh, the, a party, the Kiss pre-party, Kiss Cruise pre-party this year. Ooh, yes. The Gathering. Uh, Just the tell gathering. the fans out there before we wrap up. Uh, October 30th. Randy, what are the dates? Gathering. At the Gathering, Kiss pre-cruise party. 28th. 28th. 27th, 28th, 28th, you're going to be doing that, right? Yes, Showing and up. it's going to be a blast. Everybody's got to come. It's going to okay. be huge. We're going to be doing a lot of signings and playing with the band and a lot of surprises, so don't miss it. Okay. So we're going to wrap up here. Uh, we want to say, Vinny Vincent, thank you for taking the time to talk to Backstage Access. My pleasure. And check, it out, uh, check out Vinny Vincent on Facebook, right? Vinny Vincent official Facebook. Come on and join up. I do personally talk to everybody. Okay. It's it's only a rumor. To, if if don't believe the rumors about it, it's not me. I talk to everybody okay. personally. I don't, but you know. He, I do. He, he will. I do. I, don't. I do. <laughs> All right. Backstage access. Thanks for taking the Thanks, time. Thanks everybody. Good to see you. Bye bye. <laughs>